Hello everyone, welcome to AI Tutorials. In this video, we are going to learn about mathematical functions. You can see the agenda here. We will learn it one by one. Before that, I have mentioned the reference link here. If you want to learn additional functions, you can refer this URL. But we will be learning most used methods in the real time project. Then in addition to that, I have mentioned my GitHub repository in the video description. You no need to take any notes. You just download the IPython notebook from this repository. Now the first topic trigonometric or transcendental function. It means it's an analytical function that does not satisfy a polynomial equation. Now we'll see how to do that. First import the numpy library so import numpy as np run that line first so that you no need to execute again and again the first one is sine x function let me create an array first x equal to np dot a range function of 10 for this range we are going to find the sine x so y equal to np dot sign inside this pass the x let me print both x and y so you can see the array is created like 0 to 9 for each value the respective sign values are displayed here for 0 it is 0 for 1 it's 0 0.84 and for 3 it is 0 0.90 and so on so this is how we will find the sine x value we already created x value now for the same value we try to find cos x value y equal to np dot cos of x let's print and see so for 0 it's 1 you know cos 0 is 1 for cos 1 it is 0.54 now for 10 function y equal to np dot 10 array x print y we know tan 0 is 0 and tan 1 1.55 like that for the mentioned array limit it found the respective value then let me show you how to draw the sin x function it can be done with the help of matplotlib very soon we will be learning that also so for time being just see how it look like first we have to import matplotlib dot pyplot as plt then creating an array it starts from 0 and stop like 4 into pi 3.14 you know very well and a step the gap between each value is 0.1 so for this array we are going to find the sin x np dot sin x next step is we have to plot it so plt dot plot x comma y plt dot show so when we execute we got the sine curve in the real time data science project we use matplotlib pandas numpy with the help of everything we can able to visualize like this very soon we will be learning these concepts hope you got an idea how to do the sin x cos x tan x function in addition to this we have many functions you can refer this url the next topic is exponent function both exponent and logarithmic functions are very important and we use a lot let's create an array a np dot range starts from 1 end value is 6 so 1 to 5 let's try to find exponent of each value so np dot exp exponent of a let me show a also 
for 1 it is 2.71 big numbers then for 2 it is 7.38 for 3 it is 20.08 and so on this is how we will calculate the exponential value then for logarithmic same way let me use the same example print a then print np dot log by default it will take base 2 inside that pass tare a when we execute for 1 it's 0 we know log 1 is 0 log 2 is 0 0.69 and so on in addition to this if you want to find for log base 10 that can also be done print np dot call log 10 inside this pass the array so when we execute the value you can see it, this is for log base 2 and this is for base 10 so it's very easy doing this calculation with the help of numpy arrays now the last topic miscellaneous function one is square root another one is square most of them will get confused between the square root and square so square root means just like this try to find the square root of a particular number 4 means it's 2 9 means it's 3 16 means it's 4 but square means you're trying to find the square of that number 2 square 4 3 square 9 4 square 16 let's try to implement those two method so we created an 1 4 9 16 let's try to find the square root of it np dot sqrt then pass the array so square root of 1 is 1 4 is 2 9 is 3 16 is 4 nothing but this one to calculate the square so we have an a 1 2 3 4 we will try to find the square of each value np dot square pass the if we execute 1 square 1 2 square 4 3 square 9 4 square 16 nothing but these values let's do a short recap first one trigonometric function like sine cos tan we have many function just call that function and pass the array then to draw the graph we use the matplotlib we'll learn it soon then in order to find the exponential we use exp and for logarithmic we use log if you want to find logarithmic to a specific base means you have to mention that value here log 10 base and uh, finally miscellaneous function that is square root and uh, square hope you got a clear picture about a mathematical functions that's the end of this video thanks for watching happy learning